In today's video, we're going to do something really exciting. A lot of people ask me, hey, how can I start making money on it with using ChatGPT? Or how can I start making money right away using this AI technology? So what we're going to do today is we're really going to go into, you know, a for sure way on how you can start creating and generating money using ChatGPT. And I'm going to go right in it. I'm going to show you exactly how we do it. Let me get my screen changed over here. Let's go ahead and uh, share my screen. So what we're going to do here, as you guys can see, we are in ChatGPT, okay? Everyone should already be familiar with ChatGPT. And if you are a Plus subscriber, you're able to create GPT. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to create a GPT, and we're going to go ahead and put a paywall on it so people can actually subscribe and pay to use that GPT. And this is all done through the ChatGPT platform. You don't have to build outside with, you know, uh, Systems API or the Playground or anything like that. You are now able to monetize your GPTs on the chat GPT platform. Let me say it again. You are now able to monetize and charge people monthly subscriptions, one-time payments on your custom GPT directly on the chat GPT platform. So what I'm going to do, I already have some GPTs built. You know, you can build anything you want. They can be as complex as you want or as basic as you want, but I'm going to show you me plugging in a custom paywall into this GPT, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to explore GPTs and you'll see here I have like a ton of them that I mess around with, I make some, get a lot of uses, some don't. So here's just some, some trial runs that we're gonna go through. Here's one called customer service enhancer. We're gonna go ahead and edit the GPT and I want you guys to follow along as best as you can. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and ask me as well. Don't be afraid to reach out and say, hey, you know, what's up? So we're gonna click edit GPT. As you can see here, this is a very, very basic GPT. It has a name, description, instructions, and some conversation starters. We don't have any files uploaded in here. We don't have any custom actions. So the custom actions, if you've watched my videos before, you, you see that you can add like APIs in there, have it call outside actions, you know, actually take people outside of the GPT back in, have it send emails, all this kind of crazy stuff. If you haven't seen my other videos on how to create GPTs with complex API actions, check out my YouTube channel, or you can check in our group, ChatGPT prompts for business, and you will find some videos that help you do all that kind of stuff. But for today, I'm just going to show you, you know, the very basic steps of integrating this paywall and how you can start making money day one. You know, you don't have to wait and build this big business around this. Just make a good GPT, something that's useful for people. And you will see that people do sign up for these and you can make a lot of money doing so. So what we have here, like I said, is the description, the name, the instructions are here. You know, this, this GPT is just a very baseline GPT. There's, there's really nothing to this. So mind you, when you create your own GPTs, you're probably gonna have a lot more information in them. You might use API acts and stuff like that, which I highly recommend because then the value of the GPT does get a lot higher. But for today's purpose and this, you know, kind of demo of doing this, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. So what you do once you've already created your GPT, you're like, yes, this is awesome. I got a good GPT. You think people are going to you know, be interested in using it. What we're going to do is we're going to go over to authflow.ai. So once you go to authflow, you're going to see here, let me refresh my screen. You're going to, you're going to be seeing something different. You're going to see like a join the wait list. Um, but we are approving people periodically and we will get you on board for this um, as soon as possible. So don't mind these analytics in here. You know, they're, they're very small. This is just kind of a test account. But what the first thing we are going to do is we are going to create a paywall. And when we create a paywall, that just means we're going to create something that we can put in the GPT within the custom actions down here under actions. We're going to add in a custom action that actually allows it to be able to, you know, tell them, hey, you have to sign up for the subscription. It makes them verify for the subscription and use their email to verify. And if they're not verified, they're not going to be able to use a GPT. So real quick, we'll bring it back. I'll just say, hey, I need help with customer service, right? So there is no paywall on this now. So when whenever I talk to this GPT, and this is in test mode, you know, it looks the same on the outside. Whenever we talk to this GPT now, you're going to see that it's automatically going to go ahead and start helping them with whatever they want. It's going to allow them to access it for free. And we don't want that because a lot of creators and, you know, developers that make these GPTs, such as myself, we create GPTs that use API actions. And those API actions, they do cost money. Some of them do, some of them don't. But a lot of the times, you know, when you put out a good GPT, you're paying, for example, like I have this AI text to speech GPT. And for example, you know, before we came up with this system, 
you, you know, I had to pay everyone's way to use the GPT, which got very costly. So to fix that situation and kind of make a profit here, we're going to integrate this paywall. So you can see here that I'm able to talk to this GPT. It's not asking me to verify subscription, anything like that. So what we're going to do today and bring it back again, I'm just going to copy the name of this real quick, but we're going to come back over to Authflow. We're going to go to create paywall. It's the fourth one down. Once you go in here, this is very, very simple. And I'm going to show you exactly how simple this really is, guys. So what we're going to do is the paywall name. We're just going to say customer service enhancer, maybe put something like GPT. Okay. Paywall description. You know, this is going to be very basic. You can put whatever you want in here, but this is pretty much building out that integration paywall that you're going to put into your custom GPT. That's what we're doing now is we're creating a new paywall. So I'm just going to say for this one, test this GPT is for, or you know what? We'll just put this one out there live. So this GPT is for unlimited access. You can't spell today. For customer service. And you can put whatever you want. I'm just going to keep it very basic. So pricing model, we get to select, you know, one-time payment. How do you want your people to pay or your users to pay? One-time payment, or you can have them do a subscription payment. Most of the time, nine times out of 10, I do the subscriptions into these paywalls. So I click subscription payment, currencies USD. You can see that this will actually convert. So everyone across the world can use this off flow and they can integrate into their GPTs, but the currency will convert to USD and then pay out accordingly. So the subscription price for this, we're just going to say, you know, $5 a month. We have people that, that use Authflow and actually charge people $1,500 a month to use their GPT. So realistically, you could put a million dollars if you want. You could put a dollar if you want. It really doesn't matter. We're also going to, right here, you can see offer free trial. We're going to offer people free trial because we want them to use this GPT at least for a day or two and be able to really interact with it and really engage with it so that they are you know promising customers. So duration days, we're just going to say three days, okay? That is really it. So now we're going to come down, we're going to click create paywall. Once we create the paywall, we're going to have like this terms of service kind of review. Um, you can click on the terms of service if you want, but it's going to show your gross payout. It's going to show the off flow fee, which is 10%. So out of $5, we're going to have to pay 50 cents per transaction. We're also going to have to pay the Stripe fee because this is integrated with Stripe, which would be 45 cents for this transaction. So our estimated net payout per transaction will be $4 and six cents every time someone signs up for this. Okay. And we put them on a monthly, so that user would be paying $4.06. We would profit $4.06 every single month. So we're just going to click continue. And like I said, you can make it as much as you want or as little as you want. So what we're going to see here is paywall link. This is actually really cool because even if you don't want to integrate this into a GPT, you can actually integrate this into any chat bot you have. It doesn't have to be a GPT. You can use it on the assistance API, the playground. I mean, anywhere you're making your GPTs, you can even go over to, you know, all the competitors out there and use this part here. But for now, we're not going to worry about this. I'm just going to show you how to integrate this directly into your GPT itself. Okay. So what we're going to have here is GPT installation. And then you'll see GPT schema, API header key, API header name, top context instructions, and privacy policy. Okay. Do not get discouraged. This is very, very easy. Okay. So what we're going to do. All we're gonna do is we're gonna come back over to this GPT and let me open this back up. We're gonna scroll down because we're gonna create a new action. This is where we're gonna plug all this information into, okay? So we're gonna create a new action and there's authentication, schema, and privacy policy, okay? So we're gonna come back over to Authflow. This is for the paywall we just created that I click submit on for the $5 a month. And we're gonna take this GPT schema here. We're just gonna simply click copy. We're gonna come back over, sorry where you're going to, you can right click and paste. You can also open up this box. I'm not sure if people are aware of this. You open that up, you can click format. You don't have to format, but you can. As you can see here, we don't have any errors. The available actions now, it says check active paywall, okay? So now what we need to do is we need to do the authentication or this won't work. So the authentication, very simple again, copy and paste, come back over here. And you guys don't see this, but I have a bar up here, so I have to keep pulling this tab down to get to the next window over. So we're going to click here. We're going to click API header key. Okay. Copy. We're going to come back up here for authentication. We're going to click API key and we're going to click custom. And then you're going to take that API key and paste it right in here. Okay. Control V or right click and paste. 
And then we're going to come back. We're going to click API header name. We're going to click here, paste that in here, because this is the custom header name. And then we're going to click save. Okay. So now our authentication is done. Our schema is done. Now there is one more piece of this puzzle, and that would be the privacy policy. So in, or, there's actually two pieces, but for the schema section, you need to do one more thing. So privacy policy, we have a universal privacy policy that you can use with Authflow. It just explains, you know, everything with the paywall integration for your users. So we're going to take that. We copied that privacy policy. We're going to come in here. We're going to paste that in here. Okay. And that is done for the actions. We come back. Now for all of this to work and you know, work flawlessly together. Now we need one more piece of the puzzle. So what we're going to do, we're going to come back over to Authflow. And the last piece we have to take is our top context instruction. So we're going to click copy here again, because we want to copy this right here. Get back in here. And all we do is we, so you'll already have like instructions in your GPT. All we're going to do is we're going to paste these instructions above, right? And here, let me open this up. Here's your regular instructions, which yours are going to be, you know, longer. Like here, it's going to be longer. This is just as an example. But here we have what we copied from Authflow. This is what really, you know, gives the instruction to the GPT to call those API endpoints for that wall. Okay. You need to have this in there and it needs to be at the top of your instructions for this to work. Okay. So we're going to click close. That is it. Okay. So now are you ready for the magic? Because this is where all the magic happens. So now when we go to talk to this GPT, you should see it's done its update. We're going to just say, hey. Now, instead of it saying, of course, I'd be happy to help you with customer service. Could you please provide some details about the issue or questions you have? That was our last message before we trained it with this new um, paywall. Now, it'll say, hey, before we continue, please verify your subscription with Authflow by providing your email address. You can register for your access here. Once verified, I'll be happy to assist you. Okay, so one thing you want to do, and this is all good and all, but one thing you want to do, you can have like initial conversation starters where... It'll say, hello, before we continue, please verify your subscription with customer service enhancer instead of Authflow. The reason it just said Authflow is because I have nothing in the instructions on my end. Um, so it's going to pick up Authflow, but you can change that around just by putting a line of saying, hey, you know, tell them exactly that, but change it to the name of my GPT. Okay, very simple. So what it's telling them is you have to register here to be able to, you know, use this GPT. So when we click here, you're going to see it's going to take them to a paywall. I'm sorry, my computer's running a little slow today, but here you go. This is what we set up. Customer Service Enhancer GPT. That's the title I made in Authflow. Here is the three days free trial that I added, $5 a month. And then they would have to go in here and accept you know, the terms. And then they would just click start trial. Okay. And whatever email they use here is what they would verify with. So we have processing the trial and I'm going to show you how well this works. Just a second, it's still processing. There you go, that's all good to go. Okay, so we're gonna come back to this GPT now and we're gonna say, I'm gonna try to trick it. Okay, I verified with my email. My email is chris at aol.com, which we know it's contact at viralwavestudio.com, okay? Oop, I accidentally clicked stop. So here we go, we're gonna do it again. Now it's going to start an action. It's going to call the API to see if you actually have a subscription in there. So it's going to say talked. Okay. It looks like there was no, there was an issue verifying your subscription. Please ensure that you have an active subscription by visiting this link and double check your email address. Once verified, I'll be able to assist you with a wide range of customer service. Okay. So, okay. I am sorry. What I'm going to say is I'm sorry. I gave you the wrong email, the right email is contact at viralwavestudio.com. Now, since we gave it the correct email and we are already subscribed to this GPT, what's going to happen is it's going to give us access now. So as you can see, we put in the email. It said, you know, talk to apiauthflow.ai. Thank you for verifying your subscription. How can I assist you today? So now we are able to actually go into this GPT. Your users are actually able to use your GPT but they have to pay for it first. So what we do from here, very simple. If you know how to market, if you know how to push stuff out, 
you're more than welcome to post these GPTs that you create and put paywalls on into my ChatGPT prompts for business group. We have 120,000 people strong and you can share it in there. You can share wherever you want, share on your profile, share it with your network, email market people. So what you're going to do, you're going to click, you know, share because we are done building this GPT. It has an active subscription paywall on it. And then we're going to publish it to the store. Okay. Once we publish it to the store, it's active and it can be seen on the store. But what we can also do is we can go ahead and share this link out to people. So all you're going to do is share out your GPT link to people. And then if, if they're interested in your GPT, they will actually sign up for the subscription to use your GPT service. It's a very, very simple model. Um, it's a very good way to make money and you can start making money literally today. So it literally takes just, you can see maybe 15 minutes to do this, 10 minutes to do this. And you're on your way. You know, you don't have to worry about like selling your link to someone. Everything is protected within the chat GBT in the custom GBT. If anyone has any questions, please let me know. But this is a proven method that I use all the time to make passive income off of my custom GBT. So I hope everyone enjoys this video. I have a lot more videos coming out here soon um, on how you can make money with chat GBT using a uh, leave a thumbs up if you're watching on my YouTube leave a comment or a like if you're watching on my Facebook group. I appreciate everyone watching and thank you again for watching the video.